In my last video, I told you my LTD policy requires me to apply for CPP disability. Now that I'm applying for it, I need more medical forms completed. In this video, I talk about medical forms, fees, and criteria, and it starts right now. Now that I'm applying for CPP disability, I need my doctor to complete another medical form. This form is called the Medical Report for a Canada Pension Plan Disability Benefit. The questions on this form relate to the specific criteria needed for CPP disability. Remember, I had already had medical forms completed when I applied for long-term disability, but those forms can't be used for this application because the LTD form questions are specific to the LTD criteria, so they're different from the CPP disability criteria. I may also qualify for a reduced tax rate, so there's another set of forms that I need my doctor to complete. This form is called the Disability Tax Credit Certificate. The medical questions on this form relate to the specific criteria needed for the disability tax credit. Since I didn't apply for CPP disability right away and the insurance company closed my LTD claim, my employer also needs a medical update. So yet another medical form was needed, the Occupational Functional Assessment form. The medical questions on this form are specific to the criteria of how my disabilities would affect my ability to go back to work and whether my employer would be required to accommodate me based on my disabilities and things like that. That's a lot of medical forms and it's expensive, especially when you have no income. Here in British Columbia, doctors use a standard fee guide to base the fees they charge to complete medical forms. Here's an example of what BC doctors charge. Let's add this up. First, there was the note my employer needed when I first went off work, then the LTD forms, CPP disability forms, disability tax credit medical forms, and finally occupation forms. As you can see, being disabled and getting medical forms completed in British Columbia is very expensive. Since the fees aren't covered by the BC Medical Service Plan, you have to pay out of pocket for these forms. So why are there so many different medical forms? It's because the criteria is different. Each benefit has specific criteria to qualify. You could qualify for one, but not the other. So it's important to have different medical forms for each benefit because the questions on each form are different. The doctor has to spend time on each set of forms and each one is sent to a different agency. Unfortunately, this means there are separate fees for each set of forms. After I applied for CPP disability and notified my LTD payer, they reopened my LTD claim retroactively to January of 2022. And they paid me full LTD benefits for five months. That was quite a financial relief. But then they cut me off and closed my LTD claim again. This time, the insurance company closed my LTD claim because I won't sign a consent form. My LTD has been closed since June of 2022. It's been another six months with no income. My health has not improved. I'm still totally disabled as defined in my LTD policy, and they've already approved me under both definitions of disability. And I'm not receiving any other income. But my LTD payer still cut me off, only because I won't sign a consent form. Their letter confirms it. Financial stress negatively impacts my health issues. It complicates my financial situation, and it affects my family. I'll talk about liability in a future video. In my next video, I'll talk about the consent form I won't sign, and I'll explain why. I have important information to share with you, 
subscribe so you don't miss it. Please like and share with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.